First of all, I would like to mention that when you choose your brushes, you don't think just about size and how they look, but there are three different purposes of brushes, three different layers in process of painting creation. And we usually start with the larger uh, brushes like this. And you see these two brushes, number 10, uh, made of natural bristle hair. And they are, have different lengths. They are both flat. Over time, they get a little bit more roundish. But one of them is longer, which is uh, called sometimes long flat or just flat. And shorter one is called bright or just regular flat. It could be a little confusing, so it's important that you look at brushes or you know exactly what you need if you order online. So for first layer, you need quite rigid hair brushes, bristle or synthetic. When you ask these type of brushes to be shown in art supply store, please ask bristle synthetic for oil painting. So in this case, you see these black brushes with blue band there by Princeton and it's series Aspen 6500. And line of rosemary brushes of this type is called ivory. So don't worry, in a few minutes I'll show you a little demo where I explain when and how I use different type of brushes. Let's talk about next or second layer when we finish our block in stage. Since our first layer could be easily scraped if we use again uh, rigid brushes, we go with a softer one. They could be filbert or they could be flat. Uh, quite often they are made of synthetic or could be of natural hair. So they're uh, still not uh, tiny ones, they're bigger ones. And you can go uh, wider if you work on bigger canvases. And you can go with a smaller size like uh, four or six if you work on smaller ones, something around uh, 10 by eight. You should remember that the choice of your brush is actually uh, correlated with the style of your painting. Uh, this brush is Eclipse Cumber by Rosemary and those ones uh, which are with the red and yellow bands are made by Utrecht and on its handle it's written Mixed Synthetic. This type of brushes could be made of natural hair as well, but good synthetic is predominant in this uh, segment of brushes. And now let's talk about brushes which are of smaller size, type 3, and we use them uh, to create details. If we talk about the smaller paintings, so we need the smaller brushes, predominantly round ones. Of course, you can buy smaller brushes of uh, flat shape as well. And they could be made of natural hair like Kalinsky. And, or it could be, again, made of similar synthetic, similar to a uh, second uh, group of brushes we already reviewed. So uh, the problem with round brushes that uh, different brands uh, put different numbers and sometimes uh, number two of one uh, brand could be same in size as number six of another brand. So yes, it's confusing. I usually uh, see what's the diameter of the tube where hair are sitting. So if you start with two brushes, one of them maybe three millimeter, at the base of hair and another is about one millimeter, tiny one for signatures, you're good to go, you're good to start. Of course, over time we'll end up with many brushes, but for beginners, I would say six brushes are enough. Two brushes of each type. I will work today on canvas of six by six, so I don't think I need the brush of size 10. I'll be good with uh, size number six for my under painting layer. So I decided to work on white canvas. I just transferred a drawing on my canvas and this is the view. I have found that drying in sun laundry is quite appealing subject to paint. This will be not a formal demo or class. I just wanna show you how I work with three different types of uh, brushes to create three layers of paint working on this painting using stiffer brush synthetic bristle wider bigger size which in this case is quite appropriate is even though it doesn't look uh, large or huge or scary as a size 10 or 12 
applying a very thin paint with medium which helps this layer to settle if not dry fast enough. When you're outside in sun with air around and air is dry, this layer will dry very fast and painting on top of it is easy. Even though we talk about a la prima approach, like painting at once, it's still not a single layer and we are using different sorts of tricks, uh, different tools, how to separate one layer from another. So anyway, it's a multi-layer oil painting and we're working now on layer number one. Different areas of the painting, let's say area where laundry will be, I'm working on, will have very complex layer later and it's not always the color which will be at the end. Let's say I put under painting warm and then put cooler colors on top of it. At the same time where we have shadow on the grass, it could be by, closer, uh, by color and value closer to the final place. So we're pretty much done with covering paint. We're done with that larger brush and my next selection, my next choice is a smaller uh, brush, which is a soft synthetic. Now, when I apply my paint, I'm trying not to remove first layer. Soft brushes, brush is great for that. And of course, um, it's possible to work with one brush but uh, in some areas you need to have a cleaner brush that is why uh, having a couple of brushes maybe of the same size or close size will give you more flexibility compared to other areas working on grass is always tricky it's patchy it has little bumps here and there some shadows and grass is quite often is not even even color wise not only value wise uh, that underpaint, underpainting, which I created first, uh, was really helping augmenting a uh, layer which I'm trying to create right now. And now, with quite light touch, trying not to lift paint from the bottom, I'm applying uh, mixes of paint, which have uh, plenty of titanium white, which is quite opaque. And now I'm uh, working quite impasto on my uh, laundry line. When I worked on it, I really enjoyed. I enjoyed uh, doing this demo, and then later in uh, maybe next hour, I was just uh, refining and finishing it. If you never painted a laundry, I definitely would recommend you to try once. And then we start with a third type of brushes in our painting process. Brushes for details or smaller areas. Because right now, in bigger shapes, painting looks pretty much complete. Um, if I had to leave my plein air site with this result, I'd be, I'd be pretty much happy. But uh, I feel that I need smaller brush. I need to put some highlights to improve my uh, some kind of shapes so smaller brush detailed brush which is a round synthetic in this case uh, works perfectly well you will see that some sticks um, maybe some flowers some details of uh, windows uh, will be done with that and plus of course uh, by negative space I can uh, refine and, re and redefine uh, shapes uh, which I applied earlier. Also, uh, I'm going with an even heavier and thicker uh, paint on my brush. So we're going with principle fat over lean. So less uh, solution, less medium in upper layers. So um, we are finishing here. We need to pay attention to our brushes, not only careful cleaning, but also selection of them. They say that 
artist brush is artist uh, hand extension so i wish you good luck following these rules and choosing right ones